Hey there, plant enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where you'll find the all gardening tips and tricks. Today we are going to dive into an important topic for all of us who love to grow our own plants. Testing seed viability. As we all know, growing plants from the seeds is a fun and rewarding experience. But sometimes seeds can fail to sprout and we are left wondering what went wrong. Did the soil have the wrong pH levels? Were the temperature too extreme? Did we use too much or too little water? Did the seeds have enough air? These are just a few of many factors that can contribute to failed seed germination. And sometimes it's simply because the seeds are not sproutable. That's why it's crucial to test our seeds before planting them, to avoid wasting your money, time on soil pots and other supplies. There are three main methods for testing seed viability floating seeds, the paper towel method, and germinating seeds in sand. Let's take a look at each one. The first method is the flaw test. This is a quick and simple way to determine if your seeds are sproutable. Simply fill a bowl or cup with water and add your seeds. If the seeds float, they are most likely not viable. If they sink to the bottom, it's a good sign that they are viable and ready to grow. Just keep in mind, this method works best with larger seeds, as smaller seeds will naturally float and won't give you an accurate reading. Way 2. Paper Towel Baggy Methods The paper towel or baggy method is simple and straightforward. All you need is a paper towel, a ziplock bag, and a spray bottle filled with water. Place the seeds on the towel, making sure they are spaced out evenly. Then, start moisturing the paper towel. Next, fold the towel so the seeds are covered and place it inside the ziplock bag. Make sure to spray the towel again with water if it starts to dry out. Keep the bag in a warm place with temperatures around 80-89 Fahrenheit, 26-29 Celsius for best results. Aim to test around 10 to 20 seeds as it allows you to determine the viability of the whole package of seeds. If 7 out of 10 seeds sprout, the viability is 70% and you should aim for that. The length of the test is around 14 days. If nothing has sprouted in 2 weeks, you should probably discard the whole package. Day 3. Scent Substandard Methods This test takes around 7 to 10 days on average. Here's what you'll need. A clean container or tray with short walls, sand and water. It's similar to the paper towel test, but instead of using paper towel, you will be using a layer of moist sand. First, spread a thin layer of sand evenly in your container and give it a little spritz of water. Then, place your seeds in rows so you can keep track of which seeds are which and cover them with another thin layer of sand. Make sure to keep the sand moist throughout the test, but don't soak it. Now, just sit back, relax and hope for the best. Tricks and Hacks Some seeds like celery or lettuce need light to sprout. For these seeds, just lay them on top of the paper towel. Spritz them regularly with water and make sure they get 6 hours of light a day. So, which seed weaver the test is the most reliable? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for. The flood method is quick and easy, but it doesn't give you an exact number for viability. The paper towel germination method is a bit more involved, but it gives you a clearer idea of how many seeds will sprout. And the scent method is great for getting a vision on what's happening with your seeds. Choose the method that works best for you and your seeds. Don't forget to keep checking our channel for more helpful tips on how to grow seeds, how to germinate seeds, and other garden fundamentals. 